good energy going through the screen, you know, just... Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ram's Life YouTube channel. My name is Tira, and today's video I'm going to be showing you five ways to be successful in college. Okay, don't mind the ring in my glasses. It is the ring light. But um, we're just going to jump right into it. First thing on my list, this is a big one to be successful. Ugh. to be successful is to introduce yourself to your professors so I feel like this is really big because sometimes you're going to have a class full of 200 students or more especially your freshman year and it's important that you introduce yourself so that way your professor knows that you're there be able to communicate back and forth with your professor let's say you're gonna miss class this, um, one day or let's say like you're gonna miss an exam I don't know I think it's just a good idea to introduce yourself to your professor just because you'll be able to have that communication they know who you are whereas if you email your professor they're like oh you've never came up to me before one time in my class so why you know why should I give you the exemption so I just think that it's really important that you do um, just reach out to your professor at the beginning of the year say hi this is who I am I just wanted to come talk to you you know and um, that's something I've done and it's helped me out a lot my my first year here at college number two is to have good time management so what I mean by this is being able to schedule in everything that you have going on um, you know for your weeks um, schedule in your exams I mentioned this earlier in one of my videos but it's good to have a planner or it's just good to stay organized so that way you know like um, when is a good time to like study a good time to hang out with friends just being able to know your schedule and being able to manage your time well so that way you can succeed in college. Um, this is really good too when you have multiple assignments for a week. Um, just being able to manage your time wisely so you're not spending so much time on one homework and then you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't have enough time to do my other homework or you know, it's past midnight or just something like that. Like It's just good to make sure you are balancing your time and just just balance your time is balancing friends in school friends will get you you know some people are um there's two types of people there's people that are influenced by their friends a little bit easier than others and then there's people where it's like oh i can manage my friends just fine with school um and i think i fall into that category i'm able to have fun with my friends while also getting what i gotta get done being able to manage um school and you're having friendships because you don't want to spend all your time you know on school and then it's like you don't have a social life or just time to have fun you know you're in college you are a teenager you know and you're still growing and it's nice to have friends around although you are here to learn and you are here to get your degree to have a better life and it's important that you're able to like hey like we can't hang out today i have some work or even if you do want to hang out with them maybe do like a study group um unless you're like one of those people that talk a lot I'm one of those people um so i would just say you know just just being able to balance out schoolwork and friendships because they can definitely get into the way or even sometimes you'll have a lot of schoolwork and you don't have time to hang out with your friends just try and balance that out it really just goes back into time management and just being able to plan out your day and how many how much time you could spend with your friends how much time you could spend um on homework sometimes you'll start getting used to your schedule Schedule and you'll know what works for you but um, at the beginning of the year just do not go crazy do not you know just go ball out with your friends you know I think um, do do both do well in school and do well with friends and you will succeed in college um, number four is to make sure you are being yourself this is really important especially you're gonna make lifelong friends here you want to make sure those friends are like just like you you know um you don't want to be with a group of people that are not like you whatsoever or they don't like you you know they like a different version of you that's not okay just make sure you're being yourself if one group of people don't like you that's okay you can make you know there's so many people out there for you and it's not the end of the world you know if one person does not want to be your friend that's okay um there's just you know there's a lot of things to um get you involved in the type of friends that you like you know there's also clubs um there's programs you know all of that will help you you know as long as you're being yourself from the beginning you are going to be okay so my last and fifth one is having a good mindset 
this one, we're gonna dive deep, okay? When I say having a good mindset, I mean being positive. It is okay if you bomb an exam. Just do better the next time. Like, work harder the next time. Um, study harder. And don't have such a bad attitude, you know? Like, you can't do that. Otherwise, you're literally gonna be miserable. And you don't wanna be miserable. You wanna have, you know, good, good energy. Going through the screen, you know? Just be happy, like, you know, like, I said going through the screen. You guys know what I mean. Um, but like, just like having good energy and just having a good positive mindset, it will get you so far in college. Just just being positive, like, oh man, I have this exam coming up. That's okay, I'm gonna study for it. I got this. I'm gonna have, you know, I actually have this thing. I have a reminder, I'll show you that. So I actually have these affirmations and things I like to remember. I've loved, um, you are enough, you know? These are things that, that you know, keep me going because College can get rough and sometimes, you know, that positive mindset, some days you're going to be down in the dumps, you're going to be down, you know, with nasty little attitude and that's okay. But just remember to bounce back and to continue trying to have positive mindset. So to do that, you know, have a clean space, have a clean room right now. I mean, you know, the room's kind of clean. It's been a busy week, but having, a, I feel like having a clean space really makes you, you. It really just makes you, your living space makes you who you are, kind of. Um, so if it's kind of chaotic and all over the place, your mindset's probably not gonna be the best. It's probably gonna be like all over the place. Whereas when it's clean, it's more organized, you're more put together. So that's like a really big one, just like, self-care is another one um having a good mindset comes with self-care so just take time out of your day to um read a book um pamper yourself i like to do that at least once a week you know if you guys saw my cozy college night routine video i um show you guys some of the products that i use and those things really calm me down doing a face mask um drawing just taking time for yourself it is okay to be away from school like just take a break i mean not like a huge break but you know like a day off you know that is okay you're not some days you're not even gonna have homework every day um just depending you get your work done ahead of time then that way you won't have to worry about for the rest of the week or the weekend all of these really play into having a good mindset and you know just being positive and another thing that really plays into it is when you have a positive mindset that really influences others i know this one person who is like a big part of my life they're always so positive it plays back on to me like it just be like the positivity is just like shining on me you know it's just like you know and um it just makes me want to like it motivates me it makes me want to go harder for school and just being a better person and um yeah okay so this is actually the end of the video but um there's probably way more that i'm missing and these are just the five that i believe are going to make you successful based off of my experience but i just want you guys to know that um these you know just remember to be yourself just remember to introduce yourself um just take time to yourself all of that and having a good positive mindset it's gonna get you through college other than that i know this video was really short i have a vlog coming for you guys next week um but make sure to live the best version of yourself subscribe to the rams life youtube channel check out some of the other student vloggers and i will see you guys next time bye